This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. Good morning. Welcome back to Matt Nair on Air. Jane Matt Nair, Greg Bach, and Dr. Slide on the board. Coming to you from our studio at Radio Park here in Racine. Join us. Call or text 855-752-4842. Leave a comment if you're watching in the live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and what used to be Twitter. We have news coming up at noon. Then Todd Alba takes over from 12 to 2. Maggie Dawn from 2 to 4 p.m. Dom Salvia. Check him out from 4 to 6. And then Pete Schwaba with a little lighter end of the day with Nightlight from Pete Schwaba. He does a great job. He's got some really cute entertainment stories and oh, he's, stuff from inside Hollywood. He talked to John Legend the other I day. I know. What? Yeah, that's a pretty nice get, right? That's an amazing get. But did he talk to former UN Ambassador Susan Rice? No, he didn't. <laughs> okay, take that, Pete Schwaba. Yeah. All right. It is 11.50, almost 11.53. Calvin, that means it is time for... This shouldn't be a thing. It can be anything that shouldn't be a thing. You can always send in your thing that should not be to Jane Says at civicmedia.us. J A N E S A Y S. What's the matter? It's just like the things. The, 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 I'm doing that. I'm, I'm doing the weave. I'm bobbing and weaving. I'm bobbing and weaving. Uh, here is the headline. Today it's the uh, Never Forget Edition. No. Headline from the New York Times reads, if you think you can hold a grudge, consider the crow. Yeah. The brainy birds carry big chips on their wings, according to scientists and some who have become subjects of crow ire, who may have been victims of mistaken identity. Wow. So, researchers at one point were... Catching the catching crows, yes, and then they banned them, and then they released them. Yeah, and they would wear different masks. Yes, when they were catching and banding these crows, and then releasing them. Yeah, the crows remembered the masks. Yes, they did, and they would actually shriek at people and dive bomb people. Yeah, who apparently resembled this mask. An L.A. resident, Neil Dave, described crows attacking his house, slamming their beaks against his glass door to the point where he was afraid it would shatter. Hello, birds. (laughs) What'd you do, dude? Alfred Hitchcock, Jim Rue, an artist in Maine, said crows destroyed the wiper blades of dozens of cars in the parking lot of his senior living apartment. Nothing could get them to back off. I'm going to side with the crows on this one because you're going with two the crows? reasons. Humans, we're a dirty, terrible people sometimes. We we interrupt the, the wildlife's good intentions all the live long day. Also, I want them on my side. <laughs> so you want to court the crows. You yes, want to be on the good side yes, of the crows. Yes, I believe I believe that crows are good, honest, hardworking, especially American crows when they pay their tax. But yeah, this doesn't surprise me at all. Although it is funny, they talk about how intelligent they are, but then they get the face wrong. They're yeah. like, my bad. Whoops. Oopsie doodles. Sorry about that. But also, apparently, it is generational. <laughs> this is like my family. <laughs> we don't talk to the pointing girls down the street. Ever. Why? You know why. We just don't. We don't. We just don't. Yeah, so this is generational. Yeah. And that other crows will pick up on this. And then be upset with the same people. <laughs> My father always said, don't hold a grudge. It It's not healthy. It isn't healthy. No, it eats up your insides. But it apparently you... it, it, it keeps the crows going. You know how they like, you know, the, like it's called a murder of crows, which by the way is the most metal grouping of animals. Murder ever. of crows? A murder of crows. That, should, that should be a band name. Yes. It, but honestly, learning this information, it should be called a petty of crows. I mean- <laughs> That's what their name should. Thank you. One laugh. One laugh. 
Are the nearly 300 people watching us on the live stream? Are you laughing? That was funny. But yeah, I mean, it's just, I... Please clap. I kind of love it. I kind of love the idea that not only do they hold grudges, it's like for nearly two decades. They don't forget. They don't forget for the same amount of time that cicadas come around. Cicadas come around every 17 years. Crows hold grudges for 17 years. I want to know the connection. Have we ever seen cicadas and crows in the same place at the same time? No. <gasps> Hatfield, McCoy. Oh, my goodness. Here, Elon, here's something for you to investigate. <laughs> yeah, go over Spend the your time on that. Go, go, go. Maybe go do that. <laughs> anyway, if you run into a crow. Don't, first just of all. stay on his goods. Just, I don't know, smile and wave. If you run into a crow, step back, apologize, dip your head, come back, and then walk away. It wasn't me. And then don a new mask for the rest of your life, or at least for the next 17 to 20 years. That does it for today's edition of This Shouldn't Be a Thing. Coming up on Monday, we are going to recap all of the things that happened over the weekend. Yes, nothing, indeed. nothing ever happens on weekends, Greg. So. Nothing happens at 12.02 p.m. On Fridays, on Fridays. Every time. Friday used to be the news dump day. All the news that no one cared about would be... And the president's doing this. This thing's happening. No one cares. It's Friday. Nowadays, it's like Donald Trump has decided to move the White House to Mar-a-Lago, and it's dumping at 12.03 p.m. Or or later on in the afternoon. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that used to be the joke, that it was, right? It was the unimportant things that got dumped yeah. on Fridays, and that's not the case anymore. Nope. All right. Thank you, Greg and Calvin and all of our engineers and everyone across Civic Media. Without you guys, nothing works. And thank you most of all for calling and texting and listening. It absolutely means the world. I hope you find some joy over the weekend, even if it's just a little bit, and you have the chance to share it. News is next. Keep it here on the Civic Media Radio Network. We'll see you on Monday. Take care. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about.